Okay, item number five, Kinder Compact of Poyeti Road Widening and Rehabilitation. Mr Lewis. Your Worship, we have a, um, it's got a tender, tender recommendation, it's a recommend, um, recommendation to delegate uh, um, acceptance of a tender for Poyeti Widening and Rehabilitation um, to the Mayor and CEO. We've currently got a tender out for that work. It's um, three sections of um, Poyeti Road. The tenders close on the 18th of December um, and we would like the contractor to be able to start early in January. Because of the summer, summer conditions? To, to, um, to enable the contract to be completed within the um, construction season. Thank you, Mr Lewis. Uh, Councillor Park? Um, I'm just wondering, Mr Lewis, um, if this resolution was passed and the tenders came in over the 900k, what is the risk to council? Would it we, mean that you wouldn't be able to meet? That's correct. We would have to go back, go back to the drawing board. Right. We would have to go back to council. Okay, council body. Mr Chair, once again, like the last one, I'm a little bit confused. Um, in the long term plan, the first three years, we allow the contingent widening of Pohabi Road in the long term plan on page. 39 talks of 233 for this year, 203 the next year, 243. Um, last month's meeting on 4 bar 40, we had um, the CEO's updates on what's going on. 233 for the road widening. Now suddenly we have eight or 900,000 and the wording's been used and rehabilitation. Is this coming out of a different budget or the same one? That's correct. There are a number of different budgets for this project. There is the widening, which has been identified in the long-term plan. As part of our renewal budgets, we um, provide for the rehabilitation of about worth about 400 to 450 k, which is about between one and two kilometres of road, um, depending on the need. Last year, we led a contract for rehabilitation on Broadland Road. Um, this year, this. Poyby Road um, is being done in conjunction with this widening. There is also some um, pavement maintenance works required to be done within the contract area, so it makes sense while this contractor is in that area to do that work. And there is also some minor improvement works, which is a different category within the NZTA funding, but also fits into this um, funding. Mr Chairman, can I then ask, um, at the long-term budget 15-16, District wide renewals is 1.9. Does that include that 233 plus? Because what's confusing me is it's a bit like the footpath along the, the lakefront, 100,000, but then the 100,000 is from renewals. How do we as a councillor, or as I as a councillor, sit down and work out what's actually used for what? I mean, we're looking at another 800. Is that 233 included in that or not? Yes, the, the widening allocation that's in the long-term plan is included within that 900,000. So then effectively, um, the, whatever the maths are, amount left to do further widening? No, so that will use all of the widening money up. There's about 450 for rehabilitation. Okay, how much for rehabilitation? About 450. So therefore the um, long-term plan over the next three years those figures are going to be superfluous or will they be actually actuals? Some of that will be surplus and some of that will be used. It depends on the length of widening that's achieved. Oh, it doesn't help very much, uh, Mr Chairman. Yeah. Just to clarify, um, Dennis, the subsidy, how much subsidy? 50%. 50, so half of that, 50%. Half of that is it's it's out. Out. Yes, Any other questions yeah. of Councillor uh, Mr. Lewis? Councillor Park. Yeah, just through the chair, can I just, um, as a recommended resolution, it's been one of my bugbears, it's not clarified whether it's including or excluding GST. I know that we're to presume it's excluding GST, but can we have those words added, please? Yeah, that's 15%. So 900 excluded. If that's, if that's yeah. correct. What is, what is excluding GST? Yeah. Mr Chairman, I'll just ask again for my own benefit that 1.9 that shows district wide renewals will be totally used 15 16. And so next year we're looking at 2.5 that also includes the 233 that's shown in the long term plan. 
And 1.9 for renewals, is that for 15-16? That's for 15-16. That, so that, that renewals and, and includes resales? And also includes the footpath along the lakefront? No, it does not. Okay. No, that that renewal budget is for um, is within the roading budget, not for footpaths. It's shown separately. Yeah, thank you. Green um, Hannah? Through the Chair, when we produce these papers, we put in whether the money has been budgeted for or not. Um, if it's not budgeted for, we bring a separate paper to the council asking for approval for unbudgeted expenditure. Uh, should you require a detailed breakdown as to where within a particular budget the um, money sits, can you please talk to us before the meeting because we do not have that information at our fingertips for council members. So through you, Mr Chairman, um, this tender is unbudgeted money. The tender no, is budgeted money. Ah, okay. Councillor Johns. Thank you, Richard. Um, just a couple of questions from me. Thank you, Mr Lewis. The primary locations that were chosen, is this to help improve the overall safety on Point Hippie Road? Or yes, what that's correct. That's driving... That is, yes, that is correct. And that, that was largely done um, we were talking to um, cyclists um, probably two or three years ago um, to try and identify the priority sites for improvement. Yeah, okay. Um, and j just a, a query from me. Um, in terms of the timing to do this work, obviously you called it optimum weather, condition, um, weather conditions. But January is also when we have our hugest influx of tourists into the district. Have we factored that into our <coughs> traffic management? Because there'll be a lot of tra more traffic on the road, I would assume. We have. Unfortunately, with Taupo, the construction season is quite constrained. Um, prior to Christmas, we have cycle challenge at the end of November. A project of this type usually takes on the order of two or three months. If we were to do that and meet the end of cycle challenge, we'd be starting in the winter time. So it's a matter of when we can program stuff to have the least least impact. Okay, so you think this will be yes. the least impact for us? Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you, Councillor Jones. Any other questions, Mr. Lewis? All right, there's a recommended uh, resolution there. <coughs> so just to clarify, if it's over 900k, we're out. And that's the meeting. <coughs> and exclusive budget. Okay. Councillor Barry, seconded by Councillor Hefflin. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against, carried.